I mentioned the crowd of around 72,000. I'd go higher. And it could be higher, Ian Robertson. A tremendous roar at the conclusion of the anthem. And just looking around the stadium, it is pretty well packed. Here we go. State of Origin football back at the MCG. And I see Lockett and Dunstall both down in the square for Victoria. It goes through Darren Jarman's arms. Chance there for Buse. Gavin Brown gets it out now to Mitchell. Mitchell plays on quickly, kicks it towards centre half forward and chipping in, taking a nice mark as Terry Danaher. He chips it out wide to the pocket and Dunstall's let out well in front of Delaney. And Dunstall takes the mark 50 metres from goal. Short pass, great one. And lock it. Well, it's working, Don. Drop punt. It's OK. Well, that's Tony Lockett, second from nearly the identical position. It's good to see the Victorians go across and congratulate one another. Red into the outer side, always put Anderson under pressure once again, but he does have support. Platten can get away, just a little bit too slow, but he does get the hand pass. The running player is Andrew Jarman, across the stretch, through the centre goes stretch, you might get caught! Just gets his kick in time. Kerner hands the target and he finds it. It's certainly not deathly quiet at the moment. Kerner hand shoots. Is he goal? First one to South Australia. Redden and Stoneham to Scott. This will be a goal. Great play. The Vicks in attack. Log it to Dunstall. Oh, he's gone. And wasn't that a quick goal there? Just as he's being tackled. Back towards half forward. Collins is there for Victoria. He'll be met by Hall. Gets the hand pass away towards Gary Lyon. Lyon spins out of trouble beautifully. From the half-back flank to centre wing is grand football and Paul Couch picks it up for Victoria. Spears it in towards the centre and finds his teammate Andrew Hughes. Now in our terms that should be 50 metres but it'll only be 15. It's a good delaying tactic by John Platten. He's starting to win now too. In the full-back line for South Australia they're in trouble as Danny Hughes tried to get away. They've lost the football, and so Paul Couch. Danaher giving him a lead. It's ignored. Lockett's on his own. And going for number three from 30 metres. There is number three. So while he runs back, Dermot Brereton warms up on the boundary line. Mark Naley, too far out to score, but he can centre it. The kick is a good one, and he finds Darren Jarman. Both Jarman boys playing in this South Australian lineup. Jarman looks to go with a torpedo punt kick. That is a goal! And not the pressure, but Collins plays on quickly, the back pocket player. Collins in towards centre half forward. Brereton can't control it. Lovett's kick off the ground. Chance now for Pritchard. Back onto the left foot with a little bit of space. Kicks with the right, and goal! Centre bounce once again, this time it's Platten who sends South Australia into attack. Down towards the half-forward line and a great mark taken by Tony Hall. Couch has the running, love it. He goes long, up towards Brereton. Can't take the mark, wanted to push it down in front of Scott. Bruns is there. Good shepherding work by Brereton as he kicks up towards half-forward. Dunstall takes the mark. The short kick comes back to Danaher again. Brereton props which was a mistake. Scott beautifully, out of trouble, on to Bruns. Left foot goal, he's kicked it. Gee, we've seen some magnificent passages of play today. As Dermot Brereton has gone into the coloured boots for the second half, the wave is underway here around the MCG at the moment with some 80,000 odd fans all participating <laughs> and they get the boo as it goes past the members because the members don't want to get included <laughs> <laughs> oh it's terrific stuff although uh, he got the tap down it was south australia who take it away through craig bradley who bounces it over half forward clean bowls everyone here's a chance for tony hall set sail for goal how will it bounce it goes to the left and one behind on the board for the crow eaters and Hall looking in a spot of bother. Well, they're going to have to hold play up here, but I think because the stretcher is coming out now. And this is tragic news, not only oh. for South Australia, but also for Hawthorne. Marking contest, Stoneham in the middle of two South Australians. Hughes the first to recover. 
kicks it back towards half forward a South Australian mark to their captain Aish Aish plays on quickly ran onto the right foot now drop punt kick to within goal scoring distance no mark at the back kick off the ground it's going to bounce through it's a goal South Australian goal and it's Jarman Darren Jarman off the ground Jarman Danaher kick off the ground by Platten it's that centre half forward Buse oh. gets the hand pass magnificently out to Waitman Waitman snapshot for goal magnificent goal by Dale Waitman Play goes on from the centre bounce to Terry Danaher off to Pritchard. Pritchard's kick into the forward line. Another mark to Lockett. Oh, look, plays on. Dunstall's alone. In the forward line. Dunstall marks. Bumper crowd here at the MCG. It'll be interesting to see what it is, but I can tell you that the gates were closed. Bradley under pressure from Bruns. Bradley does well. Goes back to stretch to half forward Smith can he get a chance he has the goal in the second quarter and would dearly love this one good looking kick he's popped through his second Darcy plays on kicks it wide to the wing Bruns diving great mark plays on quickly towards half forward a mark to Pritchard Vic's doing it a little too easily Pritchard's kick in towards the forward pocket only seconds remaining punch away by Delaney Collins Waitman only one kick left, perhaps. Murphy, short pass. And here's that man again, Tony Lockett. The siren will sound to end the third quarter. And Lockett, a chance to kick his fifth. Only a couple of steps. Oh. The thumping kick is home. <laughs> what, a, what a team lifter for Victoria. Right on, three-quarter time. Danny Hughes electing to go straight up the ground. Torpedo punt kick. No mark to Madden. Waitman. Ever constructive. Murphy shot for goal is there. Well, it seems to be a bit of a cakewalk, and aren't the crowd loving this? They're thoroughly getting behind the Victorians. Kernahan doing the ruck work. Platten comes out now to stretch. He can't break away. The Vicks again will go into attack. This time it's Bruns up towards half forward. Bruns kicks to the front of the square. Dunstall! Oh. He's kicked three. Pretty impressive statistics as Stoneham comes off to give Brereton another run at it. And Dunstall a chance for his fourth. Drop punt kick is okay. Buse out to Pritchard. Pritchard's kick towards centre half forward. Brereton! Waitman running into the pocket. Look at the two key forwards looking for the ball. Brereton goes in that direction. There's one of them. Lockett. Unbeatable on that full forward line. Lockett's got Brereton closer to goal in the square. How easy. How easy is that? Whew. And kicked nine goals. With many more opportunities. Dunstall flicks it further on then. Danaher tries to storm through. Oh, gets it across to Lockett, who shoots into oh. one. Brereton! Freak! Aren't we being treated? This is a freak show. We've got Dunstall, Lockett, and now Brereton. Pushed towards the boundary line, kept in play by Darren Jarman. Smith, a clever tap on. The idea is right for stretch. If it sits, he's in business. He is. Heads towards goal with a good-looking kick, and that's a better passage of play. This area, as Don said, has belonged to Madden, but this time they do not win it out of the centre. It's Jarman's kick who goes down towards Naley. Kicks it high in towards full forward. Good spoil by Darcy, but waiting down in front is Bradley. Has to backpedal slightly to Anderson. Long and low in towards Kernahan again. This for goal number four for Steve Kernahan, and he's put it straight through the middle. Lockett dispossesses. Here's a chance for Murphy. He can't really keep his footing. Now he does. Off it goes to Danaher. Danaher's punt kick, Burton. We'll Try the banana see. kick. The check side from South Australia. <laughs> it's there. Three goals to Burton. As Micken and Madden do battle, Buse wins it away. Mitchell towards Burton from behind. Whatever. 
to race on. Chance for Anderson now. He tries to get the hand pass back to Platten. The ball goes wide. Now Bruns. Back it goes to Buse. Buse will have a left foot shot for goal. Buse, it's <laughs> close. Might be that. another one. Look at Andrew Buse. <laughs> That's incredible. Look at Teddy Whitten. EJ is elated. Mitchell on centre wing. Tries to get away from Jarman. Kick towards half forward. Mark to Brereton. Right on the practice cricket pitch area. Brereton's kicked the centre half forward. Great mark taken for South Australia by Stretch. That was a good mark. There's a bit of a Donny Brook on. And Hughes. look at Lockett into Hughes. The punch away by Dunstall. Look at the pressure on Abernathy. The ball comes out towards Dunstall. He's pushed there by Bubner. Pritchard, hand pass to Mitchell. Into an open goal. Is this another one coming up? It's a post. There's the siren. The game's all over. And a big victory to Victoria. 22-17, 149. South Australia, 9-9-63. Well, he's the man, he's the man. Come on, yeah, talk to him. Hey, you come here. <laughs> he's the man, Billy. Tell him, son. How, how critical was it for Victoria to win today? Well, it meant everything to us because if we lost today, we are just, you know, we are starting from way behind. But the way they played and the way they put in, tremendous. With Ted Whitten, there is Terry Danaher, Tony Lockett, and a success story of a selection with the dynamic duo up forward.